Hi, Pete from Divi Engine. Welcome to the second video for Divi Mobile. Here we're going to be talking about the menu style and settings. So you click on the menu style and settings. Over here we have enable preview mode, so you can change it to be tablet, uh, desktop or mobile. I want to keep it at mobile just for now. Um, actually I'll do a desktop just cause that's so I can show you. So I changed the desktop but I can't see the mobile menu. Um, I can change the Divi breakpoint because I might want to have the mobile menu on desktop for example. Here I can change the mobile breakpoint. So as you can see it's shown on the desktop, main, uh, desktop menu now. The main thing is select a layout. So there's two different things. So you have to select a layout which is like a general uh, style of menus and then you refine it to what menu you want inside of there. So I've selected, well the main, the, by default it's menu appear from outside of the screen so as you can see the menu appears from outside the screen, it comes into the screen. Then I can choose the style, so I want it to be side slide or I can do top side. So I come in from the top. Or I could choose elastic. Elastic pops in like that. Uh, or full screen. You can obviously change, you know, this is by default, it's like that, but you know, we can make the font size bigger and position in the middle, and there's all sorts of things you can do. The other thing you can do is menu expand from shape. So, what that does uh, by default is circle expand. So, you can see it expands from the shape. The color, obviously, the blue, you want to make that red if that's your color you want to choose, so it looks like it expands from the shape. Uh, or stretch down is a pretty interesting style menu. Stretch down from there uh, and we can go on to that, but that's... I'll run through all the different menus. Well, actually, I'll, start, I'll do it now. So this, this uh, circle stretch down is a very specific menu, so you wouldn't have it on all the different sites. Uh, and yeah, it's a pretty interesting one. So the idea is you have icons running down and then you have the text next to it. And there's specific set settings just for it, the circle stretch settings. And here I can, you know, I can change from the right so I can move it over a bit because it's a bit too, you see I'm just moving the icons over. Um, anyway, so there's very, so you can have very specific menus like that, and we have very broad menus, like the, cir the circle expand. Um, if I just pop, sometimes with the customizer it might not show it exactly how it is, like so there it did the full screen rather than the expand. Uh, sometimes it just gets a bit of a, a, a pickle. So if you just save it and reload you'll see it'll work now, so it expands. It'll work perfectly fine on the, on the main, on the front end, but it might not show the right preview in the back preview in the back end. Okay, so cool. So the other main thing is the header settings. So you can either rely on the Divi default header, or you can take control of the header, which is and use our custom header. And this way, you can add the search icon and the cot icon and position it where you want to position it. So it's it's quite helpful. So if, I, if you say yes, for example, it takes you take control of the of the header. Uh, I'm just going to publish this and just reload, just in case. When there's when there's a big change like that, you just need it. Might you might just need to reload it. Okay, so take control of the header. Okay, okay, there we go. So you can see I've taken control of the header. I can change the header heart. I can change the max logo size, the header background, um, you know, I can make it transparent, I'm going to leave it as white, fix menu on scroll, so this is particularly helpful when you're on mobile for example, so let me just uh, put this on mobile so we can take a look, um, and let's just um, change this background color to something uh, quite obvious so you can see that it is, this isn't going to look the best, but I'm just going to make it quite obvious so you can see it's fixed. Uh, you can change the header height on scroll, the max 
size on scroll, the header background on scroll, anyway, so the thing you can do is you can position the logo to be in the center, the left or the right. If you want to have it on the, the left or right, you can further adjust the positioning of the logo. Okay, so over there you see something just went a bit wrong there. And this is usually when it's uh, making a big change. If you see when it when it kind of when there's a big change to be made, it 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 it's uh, oh sorry, yeah, it, 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 you'll see it kind of freeze for a second, and then it might make an issue like that. So anyway, so you just reload it, uh, and then you can move it. See, so uh, when it when it does it like a live preview like this. It'll be perfectly fine. When it like freezes, that's when it might be an issue because there's a big change happening in the code. Um, what we do is we only load the code that you need rather than every single bit of code. So that's why we, you know, what, what, what we're doing is we're only loading the code that we, you just need so the site's quicker. If we had to load everything, it'll be fine, but obviously that's not too good for you. Uh, so you can also position up and down the logo. The cart icons, you can say yes, I want the cart icon, I want it on, uh, let me just, uh, let me put the logo in the middle, okay, and then I want the cart icon, so obviously this is if you have WooCommerce, um, I want the cart icon on the left, I want to make it a bit bigger. Um, I want to make, I want to move it over slightly, move from the top, and then uh, yeah. So let's say I want to have the search icon on the left-hand side as well. Um, then I'm just gonna, you know, make it bigger, position it where I want to position it. Okay, and I can change the color as well. You know, let's say I want it to be red. I don't know, but let's just leave it as black for now. So there I have, you know, cart, search, uh, and so the cool thing about, yes, yeah, so that's, that's the menu, style and settings tab. Obviously you want to move the burger icon down, it doesn't look that great at the moment, but we'll get to that. Uh, the search icon, just so you know, what happens is a thing drops down there and then you can search, which is quite cool. On desktop, it will just be like that. Okay, so that just needs to come down. Okay, so this is um, this is the menu style and settings uh, tab, if you want to call that. And that's controlling the header, the general settings of the menus you want to use, uh, and yeah, and then the the logo, the search icon, card icon. So you can you can explore these these menu styles. You can have some fun. Uh, the elastic one I think is pretty cool. It's quite funky. But you could yeah just have a play around and see see what you like best. Uh, let's just have full screen because that's one that's might be the most common one used. So I'll just leave it like that and we'll move on. So I hope this has been helpful and any questions just give us a shout and yeah we appreciate all the support you give us it means a lot. Have a great day.